everyone, welcome to this quick and dirty guide for getting the Pike and Shot mod running on Napoleon Total War under Steam. So, what do you need to do? Well, first things first, as always, come to ModDB. Don't worry about the link, it'll be in the description down below. But come to this web page, scroll down, and you're going to get these three files. You need this one, which is the main file for the game, it's quite a large one. You need this one, Fix 2, you don't need this one anymore, and you need this Fix Rebellions patch, okay? And once you've downloaded them by just clicking on them and hitting download now, you'll end up with three well, zipped files, right? okay? So let's open up the main file first. Double click on that. As you can see, I'm using WinRAR. You can use whatever you want, WinZip, 7-Zip, doesn't matter. But as always, I use WinRAR. Anyway, so first things first, I'm gonna move the user.script. Now, where does this need to go? I'll show you quickly. Come down here in Windows, type in percentage app data percentage, Okay, and we're going to stick it in this folder here, which is going to be the creative assembly. Okay, click on that, Napoleon, and we're just going to stick it in there. In fact, I've already done this, but you would just basically extract it this way. Replace the final destination. I'm going to say yes, because I've already done this, but when I did it the first time, there wasn't a user.script. So there you go. If there is one, just delete it. It doesn't really matter. As you can see, it's right there, okay? Right, so that bit's done. So let's get rid of this now, because we're gonna move this data folder. So where do you need to put this? I'll show you quickly. Bring up Steam, go to Napoleon, go to this little cog here, manage. Manage again, browse local files, okay? And then we will just get rid of that. Okay, now what you need to do is you need to like basically extract this the same way I extracted the user.script. I'm not going to do that because I've already done it, okay? But you'll end up with, well, let's just click on that a second, just to show you some of the same files. I click on that. You can see Col Models Pack, that's one of them. As you can see here, a whole bunch of stuff gets copied over. Campaigns, I think if I click on Campaign here, I will see Pike and Shop. There you go. Right, so that bit's done. Now this does take a while and you will be asked to replace files. You say yes. Okay, and I'll get rid of this. Go back again. And that's the same thing with this again. Just go to fix one first. Grab everything. Copy it over into data. And again, you would do the same thing with fix rebellions just to show you for argument's sake. I'd copy it over it into data again. So I'm just gonna do that, boom. Replaced files, yes. So I'm doing this one because it's quite quick. The first main file for Pygren Shot is about 11 gigs and I didn't want to sit here for 10 minutes for what is essentially, as I say, a quick and dirty install guide. Right, so that's all done. So now we can actually get into the game. And some of you have asked me, how do you delete stuff? Now, as you can tell, this, this particular mod doesn't have an installer or an uninstaller. So to get rid of it, what I tend to do is I just grab this data folder. In fact, if there's any other thing I want, any other sort of mod that I've got in the game and I want to keep, I'll leave this, but I would basically delete everything manually. And then just go into um, Steam. Once you've deleted everything and you want to play the game, say vanilla, go to manage, properties, come here to, where was it? Local files here and then verify the integrity of the game files. And this does a check. And when it sees which files are missing, because you've just deleted them, it will just replace them all again. So that's, that's how I would do it for this particular sort of mod, which doesn't have an uninstaller. Right, so one more thing I just wanted to show you. Let me just get rid of this first, and we'll just get rid of that. Right, so if we go back to the Pike and Shot zipped file, click on that. I didn't actually make any use of these folders here. Now these just contain extra mods which I wasn't really interested in because they're kind of graphical enhancements, these ones, and I tend to use sweet effects or reshade to pep up my graphical settings. Also, the fact that this is a work in progress, um, what I was reading is there's quite a few issues still. I thought the less stuff I need to put into the mod or into the actual game, the better. So after you've got this running the way I've done it, feel free to go ahead and experiment. And in fact, as I suggest, read the README because there's a lot of info in there that you'll need. 
But at the moment, as it stands the way I've done it, we're ready to actually play the mod. So let's do that. So go back into Steam. Here we have Napoleon, just click on play. Right, here we are in game. So let's click on single player. And then we'll go to campaigns of the coalition. Because this is what I've been playing. Okay, and here you have all of the factions. I'll choose Spain, what's called the Iberian Union at the moment. And we'll start the game. Right, here we go. So that is the mod running. You can't really tell that there's much of a difference between this and vanilla, but let's actually get into a fight now. I don't know where I can get into a fight, so I'm going to pause the video while I get this guy marching over to this region capital for a siege. So join me for the battle. And here we are in game. We'll just have a little look at these troops. As you can see, they all look pretty good. Where's my pikemen? This is the important stuff. Brilliant stuff. And there's my musketeer types. Pretty good. And there you go. That's all you really need to do. That's the game. Targeting men with our Working away. I won't bother actually getting into the fight, but that's all you really need to do to get this mod running. So hope you found that useful, but in the meantime, let's move on to the next video.